Scientists have just revealed a discovery that could completely rewrite human history. A million-year-old skull found in China suggests that Homo sapiens, or at least our direct sister species, are far older than anyone believed. Until now, the accepted timeline placed our origins in Africa around 300,000 years ago. This fossil pushes that back to nearly 1 million years, and it raises the possibility that our species first emerged in Asia, not Africa. The skull, known as Yunxian II, was discovered in 1990 in Hubei province. For decades, it was thought to be Homo erectus, but with modern CT imaging and digital reconstruction, researchers found that it more closely matches Homo longi, also called Dragon Man. This species is considered a sister group to Neanderthals, Denisovans, and Homo sapiens, and that means the split between our lineage and theirs must have happened close to a million years ago, not just a few hundred thousand. The findings, published in Science by a joint Chinese and UK team, shocked even the researchers themselves. They tested and retested the fossil with every method available, but the results held. Professor Chris Stringer from London's Natural History Museum said the discovery more or less doubles the time of origin of Homo sapiens. What makes this discovery even more convincing is that it aligns with over a decade of genetic and morphological research already pointing in this direction. In 2010, the first Neanderthal genome revealed that modern humans and Neanderthals shared a common ancestor roughly 800,000 years ago. That was much deeper than the accepted timeline at the time. Then, in 2016, nuclear DNA was extracted from 430,000-year-old fossils in Spain's Cima de los Juegos cave. The analysis showed that archaic humans and Homo sapiens had already split by as early as 765,000 years ago. This was difficult to reconcile with the traditional 300,000-year origin of Homo sapiens, but it consistently hinted at a much older divergence. Further evidence came in 2019, when researchers analyzed Neanderthal teeth from the same Spanish site. Teeth evolved slowly and predictably, making them reliable evolutionary markers. Yet even 430,000 years ago, these teeth were already distinctly Neanderthal in form. The only explanation is that their lineage had branched off at least 800,000 years ago. Otherwise, those traits would have had to appear at an unrealistically rapid pace. Taken together, the genetics and morphology were already challenging the established timeline. But until now, there was no fossil evidence to confirm it. The Yunqian II skull provides that missing piece, grounding these earlier clues in hard physical remains. Once reconstructed, the skull's brain case and teeth aligned more closely with Homo longi, a species much nearer to Homo sapiens and Neanderthals than to Homo erectus. This suggests that by one million years ago, our lineage and those of our closest relatives were already distinct pushing the evolutionary split hundreds of thousands of years earlier than previously believed. Instead of a late emergence, the evidence points to a far deeper antiquity for our species. Equally important is where it was found. Yunxiang II comes from central China, not Africa, where the conventional model places the origin of Homo sapiens. This opens the possibility that early forms of our species, or populations very close to us, were present in Asia nearly a million years ago. Human evolution may not have been a single out-of-Africa story, but a more complex, multi-regional process involving multiple populations spread across continents. The implications are enormous. If Homo sapiens are close to one million years old, then our species lived through not just one, but at least 11 warm and stable climate periods before the Holocene, the epoch we live in today. Some estimates put the number at 14. Each of these periods offered the same conditions that supposedly enabled agriculture and civilization 12,000 years ago. So why would humans wait nearly a million years to develop complexity? It's unlikely that nothing happened for 99.9% .9 of our history. A more realistic explanation may be preservation bias. Archaeological evidence from deep time is fragile and easily destroyed by climate shifts, tectonic activity, and natural disasters. Entire cultures could have existed and vanished without leaving a trace. This discovery forces us to reconsider whether the so-called Neolithic Revolution was truly the first spark of civilization, or just the latest one we can still see. If our lineage is a million years old, then human history is not short and recent. It is long, complex, and mostly hidden. Caution is still necessary. Yenchen II is not a Homo sapiens skull, but a very close cousin. More evidence will be needed to confirm this new timeline. Still, the convergence of genetics, morphology, and now fossil analysis makes it harder to ignore. Thank you for watching. If you found this journey as fascinating as we did, 
Subscribe to Ancient Epochs for more.